feel like other people around you have got it all together? Do you feel like other people have got perfect relationships, lives, or they're always just showing up in a way that you want to show up or they are doing things that you want to be able to do or you feel like that you're not able to? Are they showing up with confidence or abundance or energy? and you feel that you are falling short of that, then if you are, and you feel like that, or you resonate with this, please listen along. Now, in the era of social media, everybody takes snapshots of their life that are the highlights, and so many people do this. Not everybody, some people do share all parts of their lives, but I would say that that is a rarity. And even for myself, I like to show up for you in a way of energy and abundance and support. But I made a realization recently, and I want to share this because I think we are all subject to being able to see the highlights of people's lives and feel like that is absolutely how they are all of the time. And I'd just like to cut through that noise a little bit and say that that is not true. Everybody has different things going on in their life. They may not be positive and energetic all of the time. They might present as if they've got amazing confidence, but underneath are absolutely not feeling confident confident at all. Maybe they are quite nervous. Maybe that they are feeling like they are being judged or they're an imposter. Because I know that this is true, like people have shared with me previously that I show up, you know, with so much confidence. And there's been times where people have made that comment where I have literally, I've done a presentation standing and I have held on to a surface so that I don't fall over because I am so nervous. And I'll share more of my own experiences, but I do feel like a lot of other people present in a way that they might not always be themselves. I'm not saying it's not authentic, of course it's authentic, they're showing up where they're at, but remember that not everybody shows up with the other parts of their life as well. You know, in the really low or the flat energy or the times where they're thinking or feeling quite negatively. So, and also on our stories and on our feeds, you know, people might be showing like the social elements and the relationships and, you know, we might see a different, you know, the highlights of their life and we can be really affected by that. So I just want to cut through that noise and say it's completely normal to not have it all together all of the time. It's completely normal to have changes in our moods and our energy and not always be uber super confident or see the the best in things. Amazing if you do feel like that a lot of the time but just want to normalise what is normal and yeah in my experiences The other thing that I'd like to share is really specific to anxiety because when people come to me, they often want the absence of anxiety and perhaps it absolutely looks like I don't have it, like I don't have anxiety anymore. And I talk about some of my experiences openly, so you might have seen me talk. So some of my experiences include having panic attacks, anxiety, specifically in relation to driving and being in the car. Now, I want to share with you that, and I've had all different types as well of anxiety, that I absolutely have overcome and I don't feel nervous or anxious about so many different things in my life, which is awesome. And I absolutely would love to support you to get that too, because it is a great place when you don't worry about those things anymore or don't feel anxious or panicky about those things. But also, there are things in my life where I still do feel anxious about certain things, or I do still experience anxiety in relation to specific triggers. And I shared not that long ago, maybe a month or two ago, about a panic attack that I experienced. It was completely out of the blue, I didn't anticipate that that was going to happen, but it came up. But what the difference is in terms of, and what I'd like to share is, sometimes it's about how we see that as a problem. So I'd like to say that 
sometimes anxiety in itself, you know, isn't necessarily the problem. It's how we deem that to be problematic. So we could take two people experiencing the same exact thing. So the panic attack that I experienced, imagine you or a like for like person experienced exactly the same thing. We would possibly process and deal with that situation very, very differently. I don't necessarily see that as a problem. I managed it, I coached with it and it went and I haven't had that experience since. However, it could be that another life like person could see that as a horrendous experience that really, really worried them, triggered fear, and now they're actually really worried about experiencing that again, then this person is more likely to experience anxiety further. So I've mixed my topic up there, so I've gone off on a tangent because I really wanted to say is that you know, sometimes it isn't the absence of anxiety. So I still get anxious in situations, but I'm able to manage it really well. There are situations that I've overcome, but I want to be really real and open and honest so that you don't hold yourself to really high expectations of what you should be able or not able to do or how much progress you should have made because you can see other people without the experiences, but actually they might still be having the experience. I still have anxiety and it is normal, but I deal with it possibly in a very different way and I don't perpetuate the anxiety cycle. And then the other thing that I could, guess I spoke about was sometimes the problem of anxiety is how we perceive it. it it's only a problem if we deem it to be a problem and we're only not um, able to cope if we deem that we're not able to cope. So there's something I often find myself talking about is whatever we believe to be true is true because our thoughts are so powerful that we literally manifest things in our thoughts and if you or understand manifestation and you're interested in it or you hear that people manifest it's because our thoughts are so 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 powerful and actually if we think something to be true or to have happened or to happen then it actually already holds an existence and already has happened in our mind. And that's why I imagine there'll be some point in your life where you've gone, I knew that was going to happen. And it's because you have thought about it and then it has happened. So it's absolutely true, your thoughts are really powerful and we can absolutely create our own realities by the thoughts that we have. Now, I definitely now I'm going off on a tangent, so I'm going to stop there because I do believe in simplicity and keeping things <laughs> hopefully dry and um, concise because I know that when we're already stressed or overwhelmed and anxious, it's a lot to take on, lots of information. But I hope that that little nugget of my inspired thoughts is helpful to you. And if you'd like to continue a conversation with me, then I offer like a cuppa and a chat because I like it to be informal. We just have a chat, get to know each other, get to know your experiences. And I'd like to help you to figure out how you get from where you are now to where you want to be. So if you fancy doing that with me and having my support to do that, then then literally there's a link in my bio to book that cuppa or chat. Or if you want a little bit more of a personal touch, then just message me a cuppa and I will invite you to that personally. Okay, bye for now. Whatever you do, I hope that you are taking some time for you because it's important and you're important. Bye for now.